let's present our experimental data in a tabular column so when the angle of incidence is 30 degree we got the angle of refraction as 20 degree so from these two we got the refractive index n as 1.46 that is we get the refractive index using the formula sin i by sin r and the experiment is repeated for different values of angle of incidence when the angle of incidence is 40 degree the angle of refraction 26 okay the refractive index is 1.47 when the angle of incidence is 50 degree again there is a change in the angle of refraction this time 31 degree so we got the refractive index as 1.49 the last reading, when the angle of incidence is 60 degree, the angle of refraction is 36. So, we observed that, okay, finally we observed that when the angle of incidence is increasing, the angle of refraction also increasing. However, this refractive index, this number is almost remains the same. So, we are getting, it is close to 1.5. So, the average value 1.47. We get the average value by adding all of them divided by the total number of uh, the observations. 1, 2, 3, 4. Divided by 4. Okay. So, this is the our final result. So, for the glass, we got, for the given glass, we got the refractive index as 1.47.